don't want to waste your time, but I don't feel like I'm there yet. Today we're in Jersey for one of our most delicate cases. I've had the fear since I was about the age of six or seven. I'm sorry to say this, but I think you did it for attention. Fear is an understatement. Uh, she's petrified. What do you think are the chances of Eva and I taking you in there? Zero. I'm not going to. Zero? Speak. Yeah. The speakings will not be able to kill Gail over issues. This will be their first failure. My name is Gail, and I am terrified of butterflies and moths. I'm really hoping with Nick and Eva today that they can just make me more calm around butterflies and to help me get over the fear I have around them. Here we are. Mm -hmm. The word butterfly, how's that making you feel? Just stood here. Anxious. Already, even Already. just in the word. I mean, yeah. So zero to ten, zero being fine, ten being absolutely petrified, where are we just being stood here, just looking at that word butterfly? Probably about five to six, because I can't see a real one. Driving into town and a butterfly, or flew into the car, we don't know how we got in, it came in inside the car and Gail literally went to jump out the car. We were doing about 30 miles an hour and it was only because of her brother holding her back that uh, thankfully she was all right. Nearly jumping out of a moving car is extreme. We had to see for ourselves how badly this is affecting her. So beyond that door, we've got butterflies. How are you feeling now? Just really Good. anxious. Nervous, sick, hands are a bit clammy. You know that nervous sick? A lot of people would refer to that as having butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> That's not funny. No, no. <laughs> just so we've got a, an idea, where are you now on that zero? Ten. So we're at ten, just stood here looking at the door, mm -hmm. knowing that there's butterflies. I know that they're there, and I'm actually frightened that someone is going to come out and the door is going to open. If I had a million pounds in a suitcase right now, and I offered to give you that, if you would go in there, would you do it? No. No, not at no. all. No. A million pounds? No. So we've got a bit of a challenge about that. Big challenge. You don't think we can do it? No. So you brought us here on the fourth chances then. <laughs> I really hope not. Talking. Come on, I've done work on it. Well, Gail, challenge accepted. You say that you don't know when this started. Mm -hmm. Have you got any idea? I would guess that it would be from seeing my mum frightened. That makes sense. You copied your mum. A child's view of a parent freaking out is always exaggerated. What would she do if you took a bus flying to the house? She would have freaked out. She would have freaked? Yeah. Okay. So your mum's freaking out at you. Uh, you love your mum. Your mum's your protector and your saviour. You're not going to fall out with her. Mm. Who are you going to blame? The butterfly. Okay. The butterfly then becomes something that can get you into trouble with your mum and something that will make you feel bad for. And no little girl wants to upset her mum. Earlier, Gail's husband told us that we wouldn't be able to help her. The Speakmans will not be able to kill Gail over issues. This will be their first failure. And it was beginning to look like he was right. I feel like that I'm still not there yet, and I feel like I should be. I don't want to waste your time. My assumption, and I'm sorry to say this, but I think you did it for attention. And I still think that it's your thing. Really? I do, yeah. So I think it was what gave you a connection to your mum. So... so Change of tactics. What's that ever going to do to you? Nothing. Tom, what's going on? It's blowing and I'm afraid it's going to blow in over here. And what? What no. if it did? Nothing would happen. So essentially where we've got to in this process now, Gail, is that you're telling me that you're frightened of nothing. Yeah, I never saw it that way. We continued our therapy for another hour and finally got the breakthrough that we needed. Which left her husband and daughter in disbelief. He's picking it up and putting it back in her hand. That's insane. If I would do anything, I could even do that. <laughs> I can't believe I've actually just done that. I can't quite understand. You're almost like we're looking at somebody else from behind. It's not, it's not actually a girl. The dead butterflies used here are exotic species provided by Jersey Zoo. But until she's comfortable around living ones, our job isn't complete. Gail said she'd never go in here. Well, let's see how she is now. Here it is, come in. Let's yeah. stand over here. Cannot believe I'm in here, seriously. In the butterfly house, we could see Gail gradually getting through these barriers so, so she got to the point where she said, this is it, I'm fine. <laughs> we saw Gail get over her phobia of butterflies, but we also saw a very emotional husband when he saw that his wife was finally free of her fear.